at one o'clock. Slightly oh. after that, they asked me to go and get treatment with the pol the first the first police report I did. So I went to the hospital and get the checkup like about and you know waiting period and all that is three hours. And then um, I got a text oh. for, from oh. the police station uh, to come back again to the police station. Uh, and they want to ask me a question. So I was there between 5 to 6 until about 10, 10, -ish, uh, 10 p.m. onwards. Just just being in the room. Carried but it's funny. Waiting. Yeah, he just walk around, walk around, never ask me anything, never type anything, oh. never ask me questions. Uh, the police officer just... Uh, I mean, received calls, then he went jalan-jalan. Oh. So, it was, you know, I was left in the room all by myself. And then uh, he refused to give me back, as I said, my phone. So, I was so worried. You know, it's, it's my life. I'm really worried because I've got a lot of information, friends contact. So, and because the police say that you only have these two choices. One is to, again... The choice, mm -hmm. the compensation for my the bruises all go to court. But if I chose to, to take this matter to court, uh, they would not return my phone. I've wasted like... Empat hari uh, tak bekerja kerana saya rungsing uh, dan juga risau dan uh, anggaran uh, lebih kurang 400, 400 hingga 500 ringgit saya dapat sehari. Jadi, so four days I wasted uh, kerana kes ini. Get to the bottom of it, find out who's the perpetrator, why was he not arrested? Why haven't they, uh, you know, called the perpetrator in? So yeah, find him. All legal uh, uh, options are open for us to to pursue.